everybody, this is Juliana and I'm here to share with you guys another little project that I created with the Graphic 45 A Lady's Diary paper collection and a couple of weeks ago I shared with you guys this diary that I had created using um, the paper collection and I wanted to create a little um, vanity um, using the same collection and kind of matching this uh, journal so if you haven't seen the video I will put the link below so you guys can check it out but that's the diary so let me go ahead and show you guys the vanity as you saw in the pictures so this is what it looks like it's not too big it's not too small and I had purchased this vanity last year at one of my thrift stores I believe it was like two dollars or something like that it was really really cheap but the color you guys was really really ugly it had like some really dark floral design on it and it was really really dirty so I had to clean it up, paint it and add paper to it. So this is what it looks like and I'm holding the camera so that way I can move around and share with you guys because it's easier than using my tripod. So um, this is what it looks like here and as you can see I use a lot of the paper from um, the Graphic 45 and um, this is what I did. I covered the top with a paper collection. It had this little um, heart cut out little window in it already so what I did is I just added some laces and trims and all of the laces I use are really vintage um, I cut out the heart shape of her from the paper collection and I put it behind and then I just added some pearl trim and below I added this um, kind of like pendant um, pearl designed um, what you call it, embellishment I guess. It's like a metal piece, it's in gold. So what I did is just added a little bit of white paint to it so it's not so golden. But I really love the piece and I have a couple of those. So I added my first one there onto the vanity. Um, on top of the vanity here, I added some more of the vintage laces and trims that I've been finding and more of the pearl trim. So it just goes around the frame of the vanity. And then I uh, firstly cut her from the collection. I added some lace behind. So that's what she looks like. She's really, really gorgeous. And then I also fussy cut the rose from the collection as well. And I just kind of added it on the side. Um, now here below, what I did is on the edges of the vanity, I painted it with white paint. And I did a little bit of distressing. I used some Tim Holtz distress stains. Um, here on the below in the bottom, I covered it with a paper collection as well. I added some vintage trim. And then I also fussy cut this rose from the collection as well. And this one here. So it looks like it's kind of coming out of the corners. Um, this is a... Um, it's not like paper, it's kind of like foam, uh, vintage flower I had on my stash. These are Prima flowers here, the Prima roses, and I just ink them up a little bit to make it more vintage looking. There's some pearls sticking out, some more vintage laces. Um, this one I believe was a gift from Sack Crafters, hi saw, and then um, this little um, embellishment there. And then um, I added some of this vintage uh, pearl necklace that I had in there, so it's just, just a little piece. Um, and it's kind of coming around from the corner here. Um, there's a little thread spool with some lace, a vintage button. These are some porcelain flowers from Carla S. 001 Etsy store. And just this flower here, I received this as a gift from my friend Tammy. And then um, this satin flower with no more vintage lace. So that's pretty much what uh, the base of the vanity looks like there. Um, here in the front, this is what it looks like from the front here. Um, I cover it also. It's a little drawer. I cover it with a paper collection. I also added some more vintage laces and the pearl trim. And then I created kind of like a flower using um, pieces of doilies and then added this vintage button has my centerpiece to pull the little drawer out. So that's what it looks like. Um, here onto the side what I did is I just added uh, the paper collection so you'll probably see better on the pictures of it. 
so it's really really fun let me share with you guys the inside of the drawer we're just gonna pull it out I'm doing this one hand and it's a little difficult but here it is this is the little drawer here I was thinking about making a little mini album to go inside but then the space is very small so um, what I did instead is just added some of my vintage um, like pieces of jewelry that I've been finding so there's just a couple of them this one um, actually is Melissa Francis and then this one is vintage and then um, I covered the bottom with the paper collection as well so it kind of matches the top and then I cut out some of these little tags from the paper collection so it's just kind of like a little trinket um, drawer here's some Prima keys and more pearls and then more of the little cards so that's pretty much what I did to kind of decorate the inside of the vanity so and then that's what it looks like when it's kind of like halfway open halfway closed so I'll scoot back so you guys could take a look again I had so so much fun making it and um, I love this little vanity furniture. I think the reason I got it is because I really like the shape of the sides coming out like that. And it was a really great buy, you guys. It was really, really cheap. And um, the Graphic 45 paper just made it so, so much nicer. And it kind of matches the diary also that I created uh, with it. So I hope you guys like this project. I will have tons more pictures on my blog so you guys can check it out. Uh, thank you so, so much, you guys, for watching. And thank you for all of your feedback. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.